Hey, what's up guys, I'm Vortech and welcome back to Mechanica, where today we are going to be going over some basic programming. Now, we're gonna be taking a step back. In the videos we've done up till now, I've been showing you guys some of the more advanced things that I've been playing around with in the game, but I'm kind of leaving a lot of people in the dark when it comes to when you first start. When I first started the game, I didn't even know how to turn lights on and off, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna start by running over here where there's no nothing to distract us in terms of other programs. We'll probably get some robots bugging us from time to time, but that's okay. This is the room where you start in. There's already another programming tool in here, and I've already looted it. I, I take the button and the door, I take everything I can with me uh, in this game, so I have some supplies to get started with. But you get to the gas station, there's going to be like a, a lamp sitting in the corner and some lights in the ceiling. So let's set some of this stuff up. Let's mock this up a little bit. We have a light in the corner. Let's take this little light and maybe put it like on the side. I don't know why it's spinning like that, but on, on somewhere like that. That looks like garbage. So what do you do to turn these things on? Maybe you have a switch on the wall and you're like, okay, I don't know how to program. What I want you to do is take your programming tool and first you want to connect the dots so we can connect the switch to the lamp and we can connect the lamp to the light and you think oh cool it's all connected on one big network the problem with doing this is that when you open the switch the only linked object you can program is the floor lamp it doesn't really work it doesn't know that the the light is hooked to the same network if you will there's not really it doesn't really work like that but if you open the lamp everything, the switch and the light, are both here because the lamp is the only one connected to both. I would recommend, to make your life a lot easier when programming, hook everything up to one source and program from it. So keep connecting your dots from your switch to all the different lights you want to turn on and off. That's going to give you the easiest time. Then open up your programming menu. While you have the programming tool in your hand, you can open up the programming menu by hitting E, and you'll notice a few different things. So this particular program could not be easier. Basically, we have these events here connected to the switch. On switch on, on switch off, and on switch on or off. I'm gonna take on switch, on or off, I'm gonna go into floor lamp, and I'm gonna just do toggle light. If you connect the two, with the, you know, connect the white dot here to here, that's it. We've now programmed the floor lamp with the switch, and it'll turn on and off based on the positioning of the switch. It is that simple. And then for the light outside, it's the same thing. We're gonna take toggle light, and you come from the same event on the switch. So every time you hit the switch, now both lights will toggle on and off, just like that. You can even do this with a button. You don't necessarily have to use a, uh, a, a toggle switch. Uh, a lot of times in the game, you start with buttons anyway, because they're everywhere, but we can get rid of this. Take the button. Pull it to your lamp, pull it to your light outside, go in, and just because the button itself isn't a toggle button, the lamps still have the option to toggle, the lamps and the lights and all that stuff. So light, toggle light, there we go. So every time you hit the button, now it toggles the light. You don't even need the on and off switch. Hit the button, hit the button. So there you go. Turning lights on and off is really that simple. It's the, the, the easiest program you could do in the game. Let's do a couple more practical things, though. I'm going to get rid of these switches. Now, let's say this is my base, right? And we got robots attacking, and we're, we're running away, and we don't have... Like, it's dark, and we need to see all of our stuff for whatever reason. So, this is a bad example. <laughs> but essentially, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about turning lights on and off with a switch. I, I'm not an animal, okay? You can get these trip wires. You can find them around the map, or you can make them yourself. And I would recommend putting one by your door, somewhere where you'll you'll definitely trip this thing. You can put it on the floor or on the wall, but how about right there? The trip wire will act in this case as your switch. So programming from the trip wire, I'm going to go to both lights from here, and you can go through walls too, pro connecting your your programs. And essentially, what's going to happen? is that on laser tripped, that's your event, right? You can, the tripwire itself can be turned on and off. That's a different thing. But on laser tripped, we can toggle the lights just like this. So toggle light and then toggle light. There we go. So it's dark. We're running away from robots attacking us. We tripped the switch. 
The lights are on. We just got home. The, the home just welcomed us here. We go out the door, we go mining, whatever, the lights are off. All right, so I've shown you the most basic way to turn lights on and off. Just trip a wire, hit a button, hit a switch, you can turn lights on and off. But what about something a little more advanced? What about setting a trap for a robot? I'm going to mimic a trap you'll actually find on the map. This is kind of a pro tip for you. If you are looking for programming ideas, there are some actually hidden around the map for you to discover. So definitely take a look at the programs before you go looting things, and you can learn a lot from those as well. That's kind of how I got my start too. I kind of learned from those. But I'm gonna mimic one you'll find here in the game already. This is a rake trap. When it gets tripped, it hits in the face, it swings down and hits in the face whatever trips the, the trip wire in this case. That's what we're setting it up on. So here's how I'm gonna do this now. I've hooked everything up to one switch and I can do all my programming here in one switch. I'm actually gonna show you what it's like to program from two different places just to, to really drive these points home. But here's what I want. I wanna be able to safely enter and exit my house without getting hit in the face with a rake trap. But I also wanna be able to be cozy back here doing my crafting, my farming, whatever, and you know, know that if any robots come in, they're gonna get hit in the face with a rake trap. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from the tripwire to the rake trap and set up a very simple program. If the laser is tripped, the rake trap will trigger. So just like that. I, I wanna show you this works. There it is. And the trap automatically resets itself. You don't have to worry about that. While it's going up, I'll run in. Okay, so that works. If a robot comes in right now, it'll get whacked in the face with a with a rake trap. But the, the, the tripwire can hit us and we don't want that. So instead of going from the tripwire and, and, and hooking to the button, we're actually gonna go from the button to the tripwire, set up a separate program, okay? We can do all of this in here if we want, but I wanna show you that it's also possible to set up an effective program without staying in one spot if you don't want to do that. Now here's how this is going to work. This one's gonna be a little more advanced. On button push, this is a button, not, not a toggle switch. It would be really easy with a toggle switch, but I'm, I'm deliberately making this a little bit more challenging for myself. On button push, we're going to turn on the laser, but we're not done yet. If you right click while in the programming menu, you get a list of functions that aren't on the left side here. If you start typing the word branch, you'll find a branch. You'll be using branches quite a bit in Mechanica as you learn how to program. And I'm gonna show you, this might be a little bit confusing, you might be getting a little bit intimidated. If you're like me, programming is, is scary, and I was scared of the branches, but fear not, this is actually not a big deal. So, when you hit the button, it's going to run a branch, okay? Think of it this way, it's running a branch. And if one thing is true, we'll go one way. If one thing is false, we'll go another. Now, to figure out what thing we're talking about, we need a variable, okay? So, if the laser tripwire is on, I took a variable from the laser tripwire, okay? And I'm telling the variable, if the laser tripwire is on, that's the condition we're looking for, okay? So, if the laser tripwire is on, we wanna turn it off. So if this variable is true, turn off the tripwire. But if it's not true, turn it on. And, and, and I can swap these for you, so you can see. Now, if I hit the button, we, we just set up a toggle for the laser tripwire without actually using a toggle switch. We can now turn it on and off. It's now safe to walk through our own door. And then defense mode is on. You can even have red lights turn on when you hit the button. And, and protect you, you know, you know the trap is set because there's red lights on and everything else. I want to show you again how that works. So from the tripwire to the rake trap, we set up a program. When the laser's tripped, it triggers the trap. It's that simple. But from the button to the laser, when the button is pushed, it will either turn the laser on and off, checking for the variable of laser is on. So as far as basic programming goes, just knowing this stuff by itself, my hope is that I've opened your mind a little bit 
and you're a little bit less intimidated by programming your first programs in Mechanica. And you can get started doing some of the things that I've already set up out here with, you know, buddy bots automatically running around and smelting ores and then traps triggering just at the push of a button. So if an army of robots comes knocking at your door, you can just hit a button and, and kill them all in one hit. Uh-oh, my, my door got stuck. That's... That's no good. Yeah, I, I have a button for, for hitting this door, and sometimes because of this trap, or because of the ceiling, actually, the door gets stuck. It's supposed to be protecting me, and it's not. And I saw robots coming, <laughs> and, and it kind of sucks because it, it gets jammed. In any case, the robots aren't aggro on me anyway, but there's a lot you can do in this game, and programming is still something that I don't have the hang of myself. But there's a lot of community help out there, too. If you go to the Mechanica Discord, which is on their website, or our own Discord, there's also some Mechanica folks in there. You can share your programs. You can maybe ask for some ideas, see if anyone's around to, uh, to hit you up with some ideas. And uh, there's a lot of help out there for learning this stuff. So I encourage you to do that. And, of course, check, about, check the programs that are already in the, the map. Just, just, I, just look at those and study them and try and figure out how things are set up and learn from those as well. Uh, if there's any programming tutorials you want me to tackle specifically, let me know in the comments. I will look into them and see if there's something my small brain is capable of doing. Uh, when, when people ask for a basic programming tutorial, I thought this is probably the way to go. Just how to turn lights on and off, how to set up a basic trap. And that is what we did here today. So if you enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe for more Mechanica videos all the time on the channel, as well as other games I play, and I will see you around. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.